So lately, have you been losing a lot of games in CS2? And has your gameplay been pretty poor? Well, your movement might be the problem, and I am here to help you out. I'm gonna give you the full movement guide today, so let's get into it. Hey, you there. While the video is loading, you have some time to subscribe and like the video. I would really appreciate that. Thank you, and enjoy the video. Welcome back Gingies to a new video. Today we're gonna be talking about movement, why it's so important and how you get better at it. So the first thing I wanna talk about in this guide is the importance of movement because you might be underestimating it. So you probably won't notice the importance of movement a lot of the times because it's a lot about timing. Take for example, getting into window on Mirage. There is a slight difference in seconds if you do the movement correct, and that might win you the gunfight. All right, so let's take a look at what it looks like when you go into window quickly and when you go into window slowly and at the timing. Okay, so the first way. And the second way. All right, let's see how it looks side by side. As you can see, again, it's just a mere seconds of difference, but it's really important. You getting to a position earlier because of your movement than the enemy is really important in this game because you will have the advantage. So when I'm talking about catching a player off guard with your movement, I'm talking about something like this, right? So you get into on the box and you get into palace really quickly and you can instantly peek him well of course if you're not that good at movement and you're doing this well you might be at a big disadvantage so now that we have talked about the importance of movement and timing and how they work together let's take a look at how you can actually take this to your advantage if your timing gets better. So how do you practice getting better at timing? Well, I think this comes with just playing the game, watching pro games, because the only way that you will be learning when a player is gonna peak you, when a player is gonna be at a certain position and how to improve your timing getting there is by practicing the game and playing the game. And of course, if you watch pro games, they are pretty good at getting their timing, right? So you will learn a lot from watching their movement and them getting their timing right, and it will improve your movement and getting your timing right. So now that we have talked about how important movement is and timing and how you can improve on it, let's take a look at something called counter strafing. Okay, so what is counter strafing and how do I use it? Well, for this, I'm going to try something new. I'm going to be recording my keyboard and I'm going to be showing you how you can start counter strafing. So first off, I'll explain to you what the importance of counter strafing is. Well, if you take a look at my keyboard and you take a look at my gameplay, if I, for example, go to the right, my character stays in movement a little longer than when I let go of the key. So well, what this does is it makes you inaccurate when you shoot. And that's not what we want, right? So how do I get rid of this inaccuracy while moving? Well, it's pretty easy. All you have to do is just press the opposite way of the way you're going. So if I'm going to the right, I will stop my movement by going to the left. See? So how does this look with the accuracy of the gun? Well, it's pretty accurate. I mean, I said it's pretty accurate. It's just fully accurate. I don't know what I'm saying. <laughs> and now you might have the question, how do I start practicing this thing called counter -stafing? Well, I will show you. So the first way to start practicing counter is just the way I was doing it. You just go to a wall and you stop your movement and you shoot. And you try to get on the same spot every time. So after that you just start by practicing your counter staffing against bots.
Okay, the problem with this is I'm really trying to do my best to explain this to you, but it kind of comes natural to me because I've been playing this game for so long, I don't really think about counter saving anymore. I just do it. And that's why it's really important for you to practice it if you're starting out with playing the game or you feel like your gameplay is pretty poor. Because like I said, movement is just really important in this game. So if you get to the point where it's just natural like it is with me, you get pretty good and you might reach level 10 on face it as well. So let's take a look at how I counter save without really thinking about it. So I'm just gonna try to play for a bit and just take the parts where I counter save so you, you can see what it looks like to someone that has been practicing it. So let me tell you a little secret, but I will put up a disclaimer because people always complain if I don't do research and stuff in my videos, but this is just something I think helps me. Um, so watch out if you're gonna start doing this. I didn't do any research, I just think this helps me and I think it helps improve my gameplay. So let me tell you this secret. So the little secret I wanna talk about is timing. Well, if you get your timing right, you don't always need to counter strafe. For example, I'm not counter strafing now. And it's still pretty accurate. Of course, I still recommend you practice counter strafing because it's just way better. Like, look at this, it's just fucking accurate if you do it right. But I'm just saying, if you get your timings right, there isn't always a need to counter stave. Well, I could show you if my uh, aim wasn't that bad. Okay, so lastly for this part about counter staving, I would recommend after you practiced against the wall and you have practiced against the bots, that you just go into a death match and you try counter saving on different spots. But enough talking about counter saving. Let's get into the next part of this video, which is swinging. All right, I've already talked about this in another video, but I want to talk about it again because of the importance of it. So I want to talk about the two types of swinging. You have jiggling and you have a wide swing or a normal swing. So jiggling is just a you using the advantages of counter strafing to kind of see where the enemy is and then go into a fight with him. So it's just an easy way to check everything. And if you would see a player, well, then you're using your counter strafing to stop moving and be accurate, right? See, all of those were accurate. So this is how you white swing and obviously you still use counter saving, but you're a bit more aggressive in your movement, right? So you will just like do this, fully swing. It's something totally different from what you saw when I was jiggle peeking. When I was jiggle peeking, I was being really careful and like checking corners and all that stuff. When you white swing, you just go. The last thing I want to talk about is a player that has just mastered to this type of movement and his name is Xantaris. Well, if you haven't heard about it yet, I will show you a few clips of what a Xantaris speak is. Oh, if you're this loud and bigger, like, ha 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 we go, away. Free block. And they go. Oh, oh Stown gets deleted. Xantaris peaked. Long Long toilets. Long toilets. And one under. This one under. This one, okay. I should be behind you. Don't worry. <laughs> nice, oh, Xantar! So, as you can see, a Xantar speak is just insane, and it's really hard to explain and give a term to this. But the way I see it is just an aggressive peak while using a bit of counter strafing, maybe even using. 
crouch strafe because sometimes he did that no he peeked and then he would crouch and stop his movement by doing that and he would counter shave and crouch which it's basically just an aggressive peek that you can't do shit against that's the way i would explain Xantar's peek but i'm interested in what you would say maybe you can give it a better definition so let me know in the comments PK up on that wooden wall combined nicely. He wants to get opt. Oh, but he won't, my god. That's a Zantara. That's insane. Beat. Not that far away. Now, flash through. Oh, and a nice swing. What an opening. He just cracked that A defense right then and there. Vanguard, they may have lost the previous round, but they find themselves an advantage coming into this. Let's see how they work with this. Positive is that Big have banana controls. Antares putting that to use. Two entries onto the B site, and James is scrambling to get back. I'm holding stop sign. Did the quad on, on bomb chain. So I know this is some different type of content than I usually upload, but I really hope that I could explain to you what the importance of movement is with this video and that I was able to help you practice your counter strafing and get better at the game. The reason I try to explain this from a perspective, from my perspective, is because I am not a natural born CS player. I learned this game with the information I have, I learned this game with the information I'm giving you now. And if a normal human being like me, born without any skill set for playing this game, can improve the way that I did, I'm sure my way can help you improve as well. And of course, I did a little bit of research. But for example, when I'm talking about the counter thing, I will always try to give a little bit of my insight as well, because that's the way I improved and I'm sure it will help you as well because I'm not at level 10 without reason guys. I did get better at the game because I did practice and I am pretty good now. But yeah, I don't want to go on a rant or anything. Um, so this is going to be it for this video. If you have any other tips about movement or you have any questions, just ask them in the comments. I'm sure other people will help you and I definitely respond really quickly so I will help you as well. That's gonna be it Gingies, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, we're really close to 300 subscribers actually and I am really thankful to you guys. I hope this guide was able to help you with your counter strafing and you will improve your gameplay and you understand the importance of movement now movement is really important guys don't underestimate timing and movement in this game and that's gonna be it i'll see you in the next one i'm talking way too much peace out